Hi, this is Anil from Learning Land and welcome back to Was the Output video series on C programming language. Now, just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and try to guess the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. Alright, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So uh, it's gonna be build and run and the answer or you know the output of this program is gonna be the character h now why the heck we're gonna get the output like this so now uh, if you look at this source code here first we have a character pointer called p and then what we have done is we have created a string called hello and we have stored the starting address of this string or you know the address of the first character of this string hello in the character pointer p so this p will point to this string hello in other words this p is gonna contain the address of the first character of the string hello so it's gonna contain the address of this character h and if i have to draw an image of it then it's gonna look something like this so you guys can see the string hello and then uh, the string termination character or you know the null character will be added automatically you know that will be placed after this uh, h e l l o to indicate the end of the string and uh, this character pointer p is gonna contain the address of this uh, character h which is gonna be the first element of this string hello so now uh, if you look at this printf function here we are using this percentage c format specifier which is used to print out a single character and then we have used this character pointer p and along with that we have used the value at and also the address of operator this value at operator star is also called as pointer referencing operator which is gonna give you the uh, value stored in a particular memory address and uh, this address of operator or you know this and symbol is also called as the pointer dereferencing operator and it is used to get the memory address of a particular value now the thing is if you use this pointer referencing as well as point dereferencing operators together then their effect will be nullified uh, for example here now if you know that this p pointer is going to point to this character h or in other words it's going to contain the address of this character h so the value at this memory location is going to give you the character h and um, here if i have to open up this image then this p is going to contain the address of this character h for example 1000 you know we're just going to assume that this uh, h character is stored in the memory address 1000 then this p is going to contain 1000 so when we use star p which means that value at the memory location 1000 so this p is pointing to the memory location 1000 and the value at this memory location 1000 is this character h so star p is gonna give you the character h and then uh, here if you look at the source code again we have this and star p now all of you know that star p is gonna give you this character h and then the address of star p uh, just excuse my writing here equal to here star p is gonna give you the character h and the address of this character h is gonna be this value so it's gonna be 1000 now if you look closely this p is equal to and star p both are gonna containing the same values so when we use this uh, value at operator with the address of operator or the pointer reference operator with the pointer dereference operator you know their effect will be nullified so here this thing is gonna give you the address of this character h which is gonna be same as the value stored in the pointer p now value at 
this thing is going to give you the value stored in the memory location which is uh, stored in this point of p so it's going to give you this character h and uh, here uh, if i open up this image now all of you know that and star p is going to give you the memory address 1000 then uh, if you have a star here then it's going to mean that value at the memory location 1000 is going to be the character h and this is same as star p so here if you come back to this source code this thing is going to return this character h and that is printed so this is it guys for this tutorial hope you guys have learned something thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial